people, we will continue the Memorial Day service at this monument. This monument was erected and dedicated by the Fa Francis J. Clark, CMH, American Legion Post 812. I'd like to take just a short minute to talk about our Legion before we dedicate this next monument. Unfortunately, we have had two members pass away since our last Memorial Day. Pierce Campbell. Pierce was a veteran and a Legion member. Pierce served with the Air Force in 1951. Our other member was Dick Torgy. Dick joined the U.S. Navy and was a World War II veteran. Dick was a past commander of Post 812 and a former county commander. Dick was a charter member of the Saratoga National Cemetery Honor Guard, which he served on every Thursday up through 2009. We salute the passing of these two veterans. Our Salem Legion is a small legion, but at this time I would like to highlight a small group within our legion. It's the World War II veteran. Because of our sheer passing of time and the infirmities of old age, we are losing these men and women at an astonishing rate. I am in my 60s and I wasn't even born when these patriots went off to war. There is no doubt that my generation was given so much by that generation. They made the great sacrifices for our future generations. They defeated Hitler, Mussolini, and an imperialist Japan, and they certainly made the world a far better place for all humanity and our country too. Our Legion has a few World War II veterans still here, and I would like to mention them now and honor their service. Ken Cole, Ken's over there. Ken was U.S. Army, he was the first army with the first army division. Ken started in Normandy and was in all five campaigns. He has five battle stars and ended up in the Battle of the Bulge. Norm Button. Norm's over there. Norm was U.S. Army. He also was with the first army division. Norm fought his way across Europe and ended up in the Battle of the Bulge. Harold Sloan, we know him as Zeke. Zeke was U.S. Army. Zeke started in North Africa and fought through Italy. Bill Linendahl, Bill now lives in Granville. I didn't get to talk with him, but he is a member and he is a World War II vet. Gene Sherman, Jeannie was a U.S. Marine. He served in the South Pacific and did a lot of island hopping, serving in the Solomon Islands and the Marshall Islands. Dick Hicklin, Dick is right here. Dick was a U.S. Marine. He served in the European theater. Dick started in North Africa. Gerald Ennis, ace was U.S. Navy, serving in the North Atlantic and the Mediterranean. And Elwood Shaler. Elwood arrived in Japan after the surrender. He was with the United States Army Occupation Forces for two years. A person not on my Legion list, but I met last week in Stewart's in Salem, is Al Holman. Al is U.S. Navy. He served in the Pacific and the South Pacific. And now, I mean, is there anyone in the crowd that is a World War II veteran? Sir, name. Joe Childs, U.S. U.S. Army. US Army. Thank you. Anyone else? People, I think they deserve a special recognition this generation. The honor roll of all Salem's World War II veterans is on the wall opposite the main entrance in the school. Please take a look. Many, many names are on it. I'm only reading you a few names right now. These Salem men made the ultimate sacrifice. Edward Collins, David Kramer, Harold Gilchrist, William Knapp, Henry Nelson, Robert Pekins, 
and Lester Walters. We honor these men today. They gave the ultimate sacrifice. It is the veteran, not the preacher, who has given us freedom of religion. It is the veteran, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of press. It is the veteran, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the veteran, not the campus organizer, who has given us freedom to assemble. It is the veteran, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. It is the veteran, not the politician, who has given us the right to vote. It is the veteran who salutes the flag. Eternal rest grant them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. My last reading is a poem, Memorial Day, All Gave Some, by Anthony Mullins. We remember those departed this Memorial Day. Men who stood tall with pride the American way. Duty beckoned, they met the call. All gave some, but some gave all. Remember those brave warriors, place flags and be sure to pray. Men who fought for our freedom, shed blood for a brighter day. When duty beckoned, always stood tall. All gave some, some gave all. Remember, read the markers, their memory won't fade away. Men who lived with true honor, a debt we can't repay. When duty beckoned, they did not stall. All gave some, but some gave all. America the beautiful, may your flag always wave. Our country they protected, our future they helped save. True heroes we honor, our duty on this day. Remember all the fallen on this Memorial Day. <laughs> Pastor Debbie. Which I you did everything else perfect. <laughs> Let us pray. God, we are thankful for the veterans. We're thankful for those who served and those who gave their lives. And here we are also thankful for these organizations of veterans and others that call us to remember. They call us to remember those who have served, but they also call us to remember why they served and why we are here to remember. We thank you, God, that they each give to us, not only on this day, but as they live their lives. We thank you for the character that has been built through their loving and caring service for us as a nation and us as a community. And so God, for all of this we are thankful and we pray that you will help us this day to be inspired by their gifts. Amen. Amen. Thank you.